getting into it. Okay, so we've got awesome. Stiv here on the Fox. Who, let me swap the sides there. Stiv put up an incredibly good showing on the week that he actually qualified in. And he's up against Spider Jew, who uh, I think Spider Jew got second. I'll have to double check after or between games. But yeah. was definitely the favorite to win that week. And while not necessarily the favorite to win here today, because that is going to be Aura, top 100 ranked player. You know, kind of hard to go up against that. Um, definite contender for like top two, no doubt. Yeah. yeah, so Stiv's very much a... From what I remember, he was a very, very fast-paced fox. Definitely just kind of dashing around everywhere, speed of light, that sort of thing. Trying to overwhelm his opponents. Wow, what a place Small for a shine. Oh my gosh, and it gets him a stop. Oh, yes. <laughs> zero to hey, death? <laughs> yeah, you know, a uh, single hit zero to death from zero percent, right? That's and Randall right. was on that side. I think both players were like factoring something, something of a play there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it works out for uh, works out for Stiv pretty well there. Spider Jew kind of on the defensive here. Uh, we did learn that uh, Spider Jew is a character, a player who likes to hold down and press down on the C stick. If I'm well, if not mistaken. Peach, though, yeah, that's something you want to do is beat your eye. Mm hmm. Yeah, if I'm one. not mistaken, let me... Actually, here, let me go double-check before I say this. I mean... Oh, defense is... Oh, no. A very good uh, edge guard there. Yeah, wow, that was a pretty dominant game from Stiv after that zero to death. Because before then, it was actually... It was, like, very back and forth. They both ended up on stock three with zero percent. But it kind of snowballed real hard from there. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if uh, Spider Jew got a little on tilt from that. I mean, it's possible. And yeah, dying to something as. It, not like silly, but as simple as that can uh, definitely do that to you. Also, yes, I was correct. Spider Jew is the one who likes holding down and pressing down on the C stick. On the week he qualified, he went mostly Peach, but also Ice Climbers. For reference, uh, this is the Melee World. or the Smash World Tour rule set, so wobbling is banned. Uh, he also went several other characters. No, ice climbers. Oh, yeah. So, let's see, I think that... Oh, actually, this is really interesting, because I feel like Peach versus Fox is generally one of those where you go to FD, because she has the chain grab. Interesting that he swaps over to the Ices, but maybe he's just not feeling his style of Peach against a Fox like this or something? And that very quick back from Stiv. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I know not a whole lot about the Ice Climbers. Uh, the majority of my knowledge is if they grab you, you die, which isn't even true here. <laughs> so... Well, they can, depending on how you do it, there are some good hand handoff combos still. I mean, they're not wobbling. Yeah, for but... sure. They're, if nothing else, they're a whole lot more fun to watch. Because um, they're very like entertaining, kind of flying all over the place. But, ooh, yep, gets the conversion. Only 45%, yeah, so not... Yeah, um, definitely very comfortable with this team. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, that is just a dead Nana and probably and a dead... No, just barely living. Okay, yeah. not for too long, though. So these are I all best of five two, today. Two taunts from Stu. Oh my gosh, and oh, these shines it's, are just killing Nana. Oh my gosh. Like... Yes. He's putting hits done, Spider Jew doesn't have enough time to defend. Mm hmm. Yeah, that is. That's the thing. Nana is very hard to keep alive because uh, there is definitely some randomness in there with how her AI works. Also, Stiv's throwing out a whole lot of these taunts. Uh, seems to not be a fan of fighting the Ice Climbers. <laughs> well, or yeah. maybe a big fan, I don't know. But yeah, if you can get Nana, you know, you're only fighting half a character. And if it's I remember bad. right, Nana's level, like her CPU level, goes up as Popo's percent is higher. So if you can kill her at low percent, she just sometimes won't even attempt to recover. <laughs> what? Yeah. Just... Oh no, so Spider-Jew had the... <laughs> Never mind. 
Okay, it's still right. like completely ignoring Popo and just targeting Nana solely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there Trying were a couple to... times that he swapped who his target was, but he was always only targeting one of the Ice Climbers. I think Spider-G wasn't expecting yeah. to be playing Sopo this game. Yeah. Uh, I would assume that we're going to see a Peach here. Yeah. Not a really fine really sure for, yet, but... But it's $5. For... Uh, just $5 to go to Please contribute to the Vacherino. Um, oh, yes. Um, that we'll talk about that fairly is. good grounded. They don't have good. They have some good defensive aerial mm -hmm. aerials, but can't really approach the aerials. So having a stage that's more grounded is helpful for them. Yeah, that makes sense. I am still surprised. Like FD seems like probably the best stage for the ICs against Fox. I just would assume that it's better for Peach against Fox. Uh, also, we don't know what Spider Jew's character choice is quite yet. But we do know that we're going to Fountain of Dreams. And yep, okay, it will be Peach. Yeah, I thought uh, Fountain of Dreams was fairly Peach favor. Yeah, I know All it's right. one of her better stages for sure. Sorry, unfortunately, uh, it looks like we may have to DQ a player who did not show up. So uh, Hopefully that's not the case, but it's looking like it so far. I mean, stuff happens. Um, okay, I'm going to try just, just in gotta... case they're in match. Every once in a while, the spectate client kind of uh, breaks. Just, yeah, spectate client broke. Mm -hmm. Well, that one, I, uh, I closed it because it had been sitting there for a while. Yeah, okay, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, Can well, we good thing I caught it early. <laughs> so yeah, Peach versus Fox, Fountain of Dreams. So, yeah, Fox has... Or, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, this has been pretty consistent where he's not going for like big combo aerials a lot. He's more going for like backers and core areas where you just get a little bit of damage and be safe. It's interesting because normally Peach is a character who really wants to trade like anytime she's ahead because her aerials trade really well. But yeah, you're right. The Stiv's going for just like the single hit kind of like the moves that you'd think that Fox is trying to trade with. Working. Ooh. Stiv continued to really working out for him. Yeah, very well. Yeah, just kind of running around the platforms here. And with what I was saying before, Peach generally wanting to trade, um, that makes it much harder when she's behind because, you know, trading is no longer as viable of a strategy. That said, that was a very good nair there to clean up that stock. And uh, down smash yeah. taking 37%. <laughs> Yeah. One of the reasons you really would have to be careful approaching Peach on the ground. Mm hmm And yeah, that uh, oh, nice. that's it for sure. Peach definitely, she has a lot of mix-ups she can do, but her recovery is fairly vulnerable overall. Oh, that was a nice tech chase there. I'm seeing a surprising number of forward smashes coming out of spider Jew. I don't know if those are misinputs or if I just like... I'm thinking that Peach's forward smash is worse than it is. I'm definitely a little bit more familiar with it in other games. There, it's our strong button. Oh no! Okay, he blocked the down smash and went for a instant float down air to punish with a bunch of damage. But the platform rose up and canceled out the down air, so he didn't get the full Ooh. punish on it. That was such a smart punish too, in like any other situation. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, stiff calling out the blink. Yeah, that uh. I don't know if Peach has a way to truly do the, like, invincible edge stall stuff. I think that she probably doesn't. So, a yeah, smart call to go for. Turn up almost hit. Yeah, mm -hmm. this, is, probably this is probably it. Yeah. Oh. All right. Wow. So, with a clean 3-0, Stiv taking it. spider you definitely, like, no slouch at all in this game. So, that's very impressive. Peach can wall jump in this game, right? Uh, I don't think so, no. No? No. Not for that. No, I don't okay. think she can wall jump in any... Like, yeah, any I, I can't think of one where she can.